Hi, this is Sal Jade from the Psychic Healing Academy and welcome to day 15 of staying positive and staying motivated while you're manifesting your dreams. So yesterday we talked about the importance of having self-compassion while you're manifesting your goals and being able to discern between when you're being compassionate for yourself and when you're just procrastinating and being able to overcome procrastination while you are moving towards your goals. Today I wanted to talk about the hugely valuable process of meditation and the strong connection that can exist between meditation and manifestation and how you can use meditation to really rapidly fast forward your goals. And I'm going to be drawing on tips that I use in my psychic development courses that also help you with your intuition as well. So there's a lot to go through today in terms of being able to help you connect with your goals and take them to another level. So most of us by now are pretty aware that meditation is an incredibly valuable process. And you know, there are now people, you know, like it's a multi-million dollar industry. There are now CEOs that are in top 500 companies, you know, swearing by the process of meditation. And you know, thankfully it's become something that, you know, even doctors are starting to look at and recommend as a really valuable way to switch off our super busy minds and be able to find other solutions and also to relax and de-stress. What I wanted to talk to you today is about how you can use meditation for even just four or five minutes a day to help you with the particular goals you're working on right now. And that doesn't matter you know, that's if you're an artist and you're wanting to attract more sales to what you're selling, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're a healer, like whatever it is you are that you're working on, this process is incredibly valuable for helping to accelerate your goals. So the way meditation works, as most of us know, is we go within and we're looking and finding our spirit. So when you go within, even for a few minutes, and attempt to switch off you know, the busy, crazy, ego, fearful mind, you can connect to something that's very unique and that provides unique solutions that are tailor-made for you. And why this works is because our logical brain, which is you know what we operate on most of the time, it tunes into nearly everyone else around us, and it picks up logic, you know, intellectual-based solutions when we're trying to figure out how to manifest something. So it might come up with something like, so say for example, you're wanting more wellness, you might suddenly hit upon, you know, oh, well, vitamin C helps with that, or you know, this particular magnesium helps with that, and and you come up with intellectual sort of answers and scientific typically based answers and that works really well or you might suddenly recall you know an article that was written by someone else about how to be successful at something and you know trot off and use that and apply that to your business and again that's you know that's logic you know being able to use use your brain for what it's good for but when it comes to your you like your meditation your sorry your manifestations Remember, as we've been talking about throughout these series, your journey and your soul journey is incredibly unique. And your business or your artistic creativities and whatever it is you're working on are going to be completely different because they're coming from your heart and your creations. So they're going to need different solutions on how to move them forward or how to remove blockages from them. Meditation helps with these unique solutions because you're going within and connecting to your own guides, so your own helpers and your own spirit, so that inner wisdom that exists within you that knows all of the answers already. So people, one of the big myths that, and then this is incredibly useful, like incredibly useful for being able to find those huge solutions, and as I said, even just a few minutes a day. So one of the big myths around meditation is that you need to create a big massive ritual around it and it needs to go on for a long time. And you know, this really isn't the case. You can, like I completely appreciate if you're someone busy and you're someone who, you know, it doesn't even have the temperament for meditation. And, and believe me, I'm an Aries with an Aries ascendant. For many years, I did not have the temperament for meditation. But you know, what I learned to do over the years was just do four or five minutes. And I would just literally set the timer on my iPhone for four or five minutes and just say, this is my time with God. And when my busy, noisy, fearful ego voice came in, went, but you've got to get this done, you've got to do this, I'd go, excuse me, this is my time with God. 
and I can afford to give five minutes with God. And that usually, being a little bit stern with myself, <laughs> has usually worked over the years in being able to just completely calm my mind down. So I'm not someone who's been able to successfully sit there in a yogi position for half an hour chanting Om Shanti. Like that just, I'd love to be, but, but it doesn't work with the way I roll. But the four or five minutes, and sometimes I can stretch it to 15 or 20 minutes. And, and as I sometimes get more into it, I actually get addicted to it, which is really good. But that, that time will often give me not only that serene sense of calm that we're all looking for, but usually within an hour or two, like a, a huge big knowing will come into my being and I'll have the solution to a problem. Or, you know, suddenly an opportunity will just be there that I never would have seen before. And it'll just be like it was standing in front of me all along. Or even better, I'll just get this incredibly creative, wonderful new idea about you know which direction I can take my business and or how I can promote my business. So that's the key of, for me in taking my manifestations to another level, is being able to just do that four or five minutes a day. Now, I'm going to just add something a bit different here that probably a lot of you know new agey people don't talk about. And that is, I really believe that if you are someone who is going through shadow right now, and when I talk about shadow, I talk about any kind of deep depression or, you know, a, a lot of constant despair, or you're in a real fight or flight, like say you've had a real big trauma, then if you're in that situation, I actually don't recommend meditation for you at this time. So when I have clients that come to me and they're working and we're working on, you know, unlocking their blockages and getting them to move forward and occasionally what, com what comes through is a meditation card and I say, look, you really need to solve this by a few minutes of meditation a day, sometimes I will be working with someone and I'll just get this message that'll say, look, not this person, not right now. You know, like this person being told that they just need to meditate is just going to make them more distressed because it's probably something they've tried before and they're going to feel like they've just failed because they can't get it right. And you'll know when you're in this state, like when you're in a frantic, constant state and, and quite often if you're experiencing sleeplessness, like a lot of interrupted sleep and you're, you're in a constant sort of fight or flight, then meditation probably is not going to work for you straight away. And in that that instance I would more suggest maybe going and getting some kind of healing like a theta healing or a Reiki session or a pranic healing and then you know that would hopefully calm your being and your mind down enough so that you then feel like you could do a bit of meditation without just kind of overtaxing and stressing yourself so yeah keep that in mind that you know if you're working on something and you can feel that it's just overwhelmingly despairing and I don't mean that you know that daily stress that we experience but that real you know like you're sobbing and you're you know you're feeling like you're drinking lots more and as I said not sleeping then perhaps just try to get a healing first and then try the meditation but if you're just you know running on the same kind of adrenally fueled existence that most of us are and you know experiencing daily stress then meditation can help unblock that and as I said, it's, it's almost like what you're doing is, and I teach this in my class for my students, is it's like you are petitioning the universe and saying, you know, you're praying constantly and petitioning the universe and saying, you know, I need more of this in my life or I'd like, I want to meet my soulmate and I want to have more success in my business or my career and I want to earn more money, and which is great, you're setting the intentions. But in meditation, you're basically opening up the, you're opening up the space for spirit and God and your angels and everyone you're praying to to be able to go, here's how you do it. You know, it doesn't usually just come crashing through the window as a solution. It comes through your own inner insight. And I know as a, as a psychic reader, this is something that I will emphasize a lot to my clients because I, I don't want my clients coming back and seeing me every week. I want them to be able to go out there and do this for themselves. And meditation is the quickest and easiest and cheapest way that you can be your own psychic. Like you can go away 
for five minutes a day and tune in and get all the answers. And then you don't need to constantly be paying other people to give you that information. So I hope that's helped today and I hope that you're able to go away and maybe be a bit inspired, as I said, to even just do four or five minutes and just say to your, you know, fearful ego self or your intruding voice that, you know, this is my time with spirit, this is my time with God, and to just connect for a few minutes a day in helping to remove any blockages to what's stopping you from manifesting your goals. And as I said, it, won't, it will not only make you calmer, it will often just you know bring huge solutions in that you've never thought of before and new creativity and new ideas. So thank you for joining me for day 15 of staying motivated and positive while manifesting your goals. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 16. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Bye.